There is no time like the present when it comes to getting your finances in order. You should get a handle on your finances before the big bucks come rolling in. When the paycheck comes in, a thousand other things to spend the money on also make appearances, from the ridiculous like a $250,000 vase, when you don't even have a plant, to the extravagant like the latest pair of Jordans, there is always something to spend money on. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to manage your money responsibly. Before we get into it though, make sure you subscribe to Finance Hive and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, let's get into it. Contrary to what you might fear, you don't have to be a financial whiz, an expert in the financial setting, or have a huge portfolio before you can become financially secure. However, to manage your money wisely, you have to have a firm understanding of the basics of financial planning. To manage your money wisely, here are some steps that can guide you. Make a plan. The cycle that most people are used to is waiting for the paycheck, getting paid, and trying to figure out how much is left when the necessities are handled. To spend what is left wisely, you have to first have a plan. This plan should answer the questions, what do you want to do? What goals do you have? Do you plan to travel? Do you want to buy a house one day? Is the dream a new car or starting your own business? And to become a better spender, you have to first have a plan. It is this plan that will help you in building a budget. Before you can make a a realistic plan, you have to understand where exactly you stand financially. The first step you need to take to understand your financial situation is to record all your regular monthly income and expenses. By putting pen to paper and seeing the stark reality, you know exactly where you stand rather than continuing to make guesses, suppositions and assumptions. Build and use a budget. To be more prudent in your spending, you are going to need a budget. Many people try to skip over this process because they find it difficult to list everything they are spending their money on. Other times, they don't want to face the stark reality of how wasteful they have been. Whatever the reason, you have to account for every penny if you want to be more prudent in your spending. It takes a lot more than just building a budget to transform your spending habits. You also have to stick to what you have planned. The entire exercise will be useless if the budget ends up in a dusty corner or a some forgotten folder on your phone. To become more responsible in your spending, you have to learn to stick to what has been budgeted. The hardest part of budgeting is reeling yourself in and limiting impulse purchases. Save for the short term. You need to ensure you are never stuck in a position where you have to depend on credit or unexpected expenses. To become a responsible spender, you have to build up your emergency savings. Several experts recommend that you save up at least three to six months worth of living expenses. Others recommend putting at least 10% of your income into your emergency stash every month. Emergencies like accidents, illnesses, car failure, or sudden job loss can crop up at any time. It is prudent that you have funds at hand to combat these emergencies as they are Appear. Big purchases like a home, a car, or even vacations require a separate account to save for them. That way, you get to enjoy your purchase without debt breathing down your neck. Invest for the long term. As you prepare for the short term, you also have to think long term, which is often translated as retirement. When the investment is for long term purposes, you should think about putting your money into something other than the standard savings account. Several plans can be beneficial to you. Some of the most popular options include 401ks and individual retirement accounts IRAs. When it comes to long-term investments, the earlier you start, the better you're off, so that you can accumulate more interest. Whatever retirement plan you choose, ensure that your investments are made from logic rather than emotions. Fear and greed are two prime ingredients that will make you lose your money faster than you can blink. You can also see a financial professional if you require assistance in developing an investment strategy that will help you meet your plan. Pay off your debt. Debt can be a huge stumbling block that continually trips you up from meeting your financial goal. The terrible thing about debt is the interest it carries. If the debt is not tackled swiftly and accurately, the interest will be racked up and end up becoming even more than the principal amount. Becoming debt-free can be a long journey if you choose the minimum payments route. There are times when it might help to combine high-interest credit cards to a lower-interest loan or line of credit. If you are planning on paying your debt quicker, you are saving yourself from paying more. Debt consolidations are only applicable if you intend to live within your means moving forward. Otherwise, you can end up with a debt consolidation loan and a new credit card balance. Should you ever need to get a loan, the best option to choose is the one with the shortest possible term. Use credit wisely. 
A key aspect of being responsible with your finances is to use the credit within the limit. This is because your credit score affects your ability to make almost all big purchases. Credit must be catered to and taken care of. Be sure to pay your bills on time every single time. And try as hard as possible to keep your balance below the limit of the card. Be well aware of the ratio of the debt you are currently holding to how much you can borrow. Try to keep that figure below 30%. The higher the figure, the bigger the negative impact on your credit scores. For someone who is trying to limit his or her spending, credit cards are the biggest challenge he or she is going to handle. This is because the card is always there if there is no more cash. When you're trying to become more responsible with your finances, you have to resist the urge to use credit cards for purchases that you cannot afford. This advice is doubly true on items that you don't need and can do without. Don't commit to any new recurring monthly bills. Just because your finances are solid enough to take on a certain loan does not mean you should take the set loan. The mistake most people make is thinking the bank would not approve them for a credit card or a loan if they cannot afford it. However, the bank is well aware of your income, as you have reported, and the debt obligations on your credit report. What the bank does not know is any other obligation that could prevent you from making timely payments. Without timely payments, you sink further down the debt hole. This is why you shouldn't commit to any new recurring bills if you can avoid them. Treat yourself. When handling finances, one of the biggest mistakes people make is being so stringent with the purse that they don't even allow themselves to breathe a little. By becoming too strict and denying yourself the little pleasures, you lose the purpose of being responsible with money in the first place. If you continue to deny yourself something good, you are going to snap one day, cave to pressure, and make mistakes. Numerous studies show that willpower is a limited resource. There is only so much temptation you can deny yourself before you cave. This principle applies to all facets of life, like dieting and your finances as well. As you are attempting to be more financially prudent, give yourself room to take care of yourself too and indulge. Include a little me time on the budget and give yourself a little treat. Add a little trip. Buy yourself that purse. Reward yourself when you hit a savings goal with something decidedly frivolous and encourage yourself. Which ways do you need to be more responsible with your finances? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Finance Hive and hit the bell icon so you are notified whenever we post new content.